This problem asks, um, what would be the carbocation intermediate if this substrate was treated with sulfuric acid? Okay. So do you guys remember what happens when you treat an alcohol with um, an acid? So it turns that bad leaving group, remember the hydroxyl group, is a bad leaving group, because remember, the hydroxide is a good nucleophile. So do you remember us talking about that? So if you have a good nucleophile um, previous, it's going to be a bad leaving group if it's trying to leave. Okay, so we have to make it into a good leaving group if we want to do one of these um, SN1 or E1 reactions. Okay, do you guys recall that? So if we treat this with sulfuric acid, We're going to make the E1 intermediate, which is the carbocation. So what is the carbocation we're going to make? Would you guys, um, do, you, do you guys have an idea, or should I draw a mechanism for you guys? Do you want me to draw it, or do you want to, do you want to guess? It's just the same thing without the OH, but a plus. But a positive charge, right? So let's draw the, just let's draw the carbocation intermediate. And then we'll go back and uh, do the mechanism. So, that would be that. And so that's a methyl group. I know it looks weird, but yeah, let's try it. Right there on that break in the board. So, okay, so that would be the carbocation intermediate. And um, is this intermediate stable? Would this rearrange? Would you expect it to rearrange? No, why not? It's tertiary. It's already <coughs> tertiary. Okay, so it's not going to rearrange, so that's the intermediate. Let's draw the mechanism really quick to get to that intermediate. Remember, when drawing mechanisms, write your lone pairs. Draw your bonds off. Help. Really helps. You're having a hard time remembering the uh, Lewis structure of sulfuric acid. Memorize it, okay? It's a good one to memorize. So acid-base reactions, remember they happen fastest, right? So that's going to happen first. We've got the, the um, Bronsted base here, Bronsted acid. Going to have that mechanism, the deprotonation. So now we've got this intermediate here, right, which is, and we've also, of course, got the conjugate base of sulfuric acid. You guys don't mind me writing it like that. So now, this is a good leaving group, right? Why? Because that can make a small molecule, okay? Not to mention we're also making a tertiary carbocation. So that's the second step. <coughs> Giving us our desired carbocation intermediate. Well, because, remember, what's the next step of the, there's another step, right? We're just not showing it. This is an E1 reaction. So the next so step the would be, <coughs> this is the, the acid-base reaction. We're about to show the E1 here, but this problem doesn't ask for it. So this is the intermediate of an E1 reaction. Do you want to keep going with the E1? Would that help? Um, well, so we would get, uh, two different products from this reaction, okay? One of them would be more stable than the other one. So the first product would be, if you can imagine, water here, 
deprotonating that proton, giving this the double bond there. That's the more stable product. The Zaitsev product. So if you recall, the more substituted the alkene is, the more stable it is. So that's going to be the higher um, in the product mixture concentration. This is going to be the higher concentration in the product mixture. And then you're going to have another product. from that same intermediate, which is going to be lower in concentration. Okay, so some other water molecule. Deprotonate there. Like that. Yeah, of course, at the end. You're going to have the hydronium ion, and that's really the catalyst of this reaction. Because this will go back and start the reaction with one of the starting materials again. Okay. So honestly, you could have thought that um, the alcohol itself doesn't necessarily need to deprotonate sulfuric acid here. It could be you know, water deprotonating sulfuric acid. Because remember what we said is sulfuric acid in these reactions is always mixed with at least some small amount of water. Okay? And of course, down here you have the hydronium ion again. The other thing is, is I want you to remember that you can freely rotate around these sigma bonds. Right? So if that's the case, then if you wrote this product as a different product, that's wrong, okay? Because that's the same product as that other product. Okay. Does everybody understand that? Okay. Here, let's draw that a little bit more. Really so that is the same product as that other thing that we drew before. Just rotate around that signal line. Any questions? on that? Okay. You sure? Okay.